Hey, thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna to make chorizo bombero, flaming grilled chorizo. This is a classic dish you'll see in Lisbon, especially in the neighborhoods of Morea, Alfama, and Barrio Alto. These are little neighborhoods of Lisbon, and what else this neighborhood has that's famous is Casas de Fadu, so Fadu houses. Fadu is a genre of music, really began around the 1830s in Lisbon, and it's kind of a combination of blues, poetry, and opera. And in this area of Lisbon, I think I was there when I was about 18, my dad took me to one of these, and a very kind of moody, low lit, and often at these restaurants, you'll find Fadu singers, and it's a very melancholy type of music. The literal translation of Fadu is fate. And these are often melancholy songs of love, longing, longing for a person, longing for a place, longing for a time. It's a very simple recipe, but it's kind of cool to do when you have some family over, if you're having a Portuguese themed party, because it's very unique. And I do suggest putting on some Fadu music to set the mood, dim the lights, kind of get in that Fadu house mood. And Pandora does have a station with Fadu, so you could look that up. Or on YouTube, I'll put a link where they play like two hours of Fadu music. So to check that out. I'll also put a link to a documentary called Marisa. She's a Fadu singer that's contemporary right now. And it's, it's called Marisa, the story of Fadu. So it's pretty simple. You'll need an asador de barro, which is a clay roaster. You can pick these up at your local Portuguese market or guess what, Amazon has it. Some chorizo and some hard alcohol. You want at least 80 proof. This is um, wild turkey 101, a little higher is even better. You wanna make sure you have enough alcohol in there that it'll, it'll last, you know, close to five minutes. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is just put some cuts in the chorizo. It helps the heat penetrate the uh, sausage a little easier. So the, the cuts I would say are about 75% of the way through. So it's gonna be kinda of looking like that. And I would suggest starting with about four shots of alcohol because you want to be sure you have enough fuel to warm it up all the way. It's easier to take it off the fire than it is if you didn't put enough alcohol to wait for it to extinguish and then adding more alcohol safely and then relighting it. So it's easier to start with a little too much than too little. Now you can make chorizo bombero. It smells so good. Have it with a little red wine from the Duro Valley. Also, some of my recipes, I have bulled kaku. I just happened to be in Turlock, California. It's a Central Valley town. And picked up these sweet rolls. I'm gonna have it with the chorizo. They're, it's so delicious. Um, this bakery, I had a pops, popsicle sandwich with ham and St. George cheese. The bread to me was identical what I had in Portugal, it was so good. And these Portuguese sweet rolls, they have sweet bread, sweet rolls, was absolutely delicious. And I have a recipe for that. I thought this was even better, so kudos to them for doing a great job. Go out, give this a try, go cook with someone you love.